What is syn sedimentary deformation? Syn sedimentary deformation refers to any deformation or deformation related features that occur within sedimentary rocks during the time of their deposition. This type of deformation is commonly observed in sedimentary rocks and can provide valuable insights into the depositional environment, sedimentary processes, and tectonic history of a region. Since sedimentary deformation can occur through a variety of mechanisms, including gravitational collapse, subsidence, faulting, folding, and slumping. These processes can occur on a variety of scales, from small-scale structures such as load casts and flame structures, to larger structures such as folds and faults. One common form of sedimentary deformation is slump structures. Slumps occur when a mass of sediment loses its stability and slides downslope, leaving behind a distinctive wedge-shaped deposit with internal deformation features such as folding, faulting, and shearing. Slumps can be triggered by a variety of factors, including changes in sediment supply, earthquakes, or rapid changes in sea level. Another common form of sedimentary deformation is load casts. Load casts occur when a denser sediment is deposited on top of a less dense sediment, causing the underlying sediment to deform and flow around the denser layer. Load casts are typically found at the base of sandstone beds, and are characterized by their lens-shaped appearance and distinctive internal deformation features. Other types of sedimentary deformation include flame structures, ball and pillow structures, and soft sediment deformation structures such as convolute bedding and dish structures. These structures are typically formed by the deformation of unconsolidated sediment during or shortly after deposition, and can provide valuable insights into the sedimentary processes and environmental conditions at the time of deposition. Overall, sedimentary deformation is an important feature of sedimentary rocks and can provide valuable information about the depositional environment, sedimentary processes, and tectonic history of a region. By studying the distribution, orientation, and internal features of sedimentary deformation structures, geologists can gain insights into the complex processes that shape the Earth's surface over time. What is post-sedimentary deformation? Post-sedimentary deformation refers to any deformation or deformation-related features that occur in sedimentary rocks after their initial deposition. This type of deformation can occur due to a variety of factors, including tectonic activity, diagenesis, or changes in the local or regional stress regime. Tectonic activity is a major driver of post-sedimentary deformation. As tectonic plates move and interact with each other, they can cause deformation and structural changes in the sedimentary rocks they come into contact with. This can include folding, faulting, and tilting of sedimentary strata, as well as the formation of thrust faults, folds, and other types of structures. Diagenesis is another factor that can contribute to post-sedimentary deformation. Diagenesis refers to the physical and chemical changes that occur in sedimentary rocks as they are buried and compacted over time. As sedimentary rocks are buried deeper, they experience changes in temperature, pressure, and chemical environment, which can lead to the development of new minerals, cementation, and deformation. Changes in the local or regional stress regime can also contribute to post-sedimentary deformation. For example, Changes in the direction or intensity of stress can cause sedimentary rocks to deform and undergo structural changes over time. This can include the formation of joints, fractures, and other types of deformation-related features. Post-sedimentary deformation can have a variety of implications for geologists and other scientists studying sedimentary rocks. By examining the distribution, orientation, and internal features of deformation-related structures, geologists can gain insights into the tectonic history, diagenesis, and stress history of a region. This information can be used to better understand the geological processes that shape the Earth's surface over time, and to inform decisions related to resource exploration and development. What are the differences between syn-sedimentary and post-sedimentary deformation? 
The main difference between sin-sedimentary and post-sedimentary deformation is the timing of the deformation relative to the deposition of the sedimentary rocks. Sin-sedimentary deformation occurs during the time of deposition or shortly thereafter, while post-sedimentary deformation occurs after the sedimentary rocks have been deposited and lithified. Sin-sedimentary deformation is typically associated with the processes that occur during the deposition of sedimentary rocks, such as gravitational collapse, subsidence, faulting, folding, and slumping. These processes can cause deformation-related features such as load casts, flame structures, and slump structures to form within the sedimentary rocks. Since sedimentary deformation structures are typically small in scale and are confined to individual sedimentary beds or sequences. Post-sedimentary deformation, on the other hand, is typically associated with the effects of tectonic activity, diagenesis, and changes in the local or regional stress regime on previously deposited sedimentary rocks. This can include the development of folds, faults, and fractures, as well as changes in the orientation and composition of the sedimentary rocks themselves due to compaction, cementation, and mineralization. Post-sedimentary deformation structures can occur on a variety of scales, from small-scale joints and fractures to large-scale thrust faults and folds. Another important difference between sin-sedimentary and post-sedimentary deformation is the implications that these structures have for the interpretation of the geologic history of a region. Sin-sedimentary deformation structures can provide valuable information about the depositional environment, sedimentary processes, and tectonic history of a region, while post-sedimentary deformation structures can provide insights into the tectonic and diagenetic history of a region. By examining the distribution, orientation, and internal features of deformation-related structures, geologists can gain a better understanding of the complex processes that have shaped the Earth's surface over time. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.